So guys, we have here today what I call the air up tempos or something like that. Let me check it. US. Alright. See what's up right here. Trying to get a good spot for you guys to see what I'm doing here. So, my name's Javon, by the way. You can tell I'm new to this. My name's Javon, by the way. And. I am a sneakerhead. I love sneakers. And I've been wanting to make a YouTube for a while, actually. I've been wanting to make a YouTube since I saw, like, everyone else, like, Boot Camp, um, Maplewood Boot Camp, uh, Fran Relations, um, all these people that you hear in, like, every sneaker video is, like, like, you know, other people that motivated me to do this. Um, me, the type of sneakers you'll see in my videos are Nike sneak, like, like, I don't know how you would... But it, uh, like, basically just Nike shoes. Um, basically, yeah, just Nike shoes. I got this from pickyourshoes.com, actually. I just changed, I just changed the subject, sorry about that. But yeah, these are called the Nike Air More, Nike More Up Tempos. Uh, I mean, you probably remember them from, uh, Pick Your Shoes, sir. Pick Your Shoes. Pretty cool, man. They're stepping up. I remember when they first started, it was just like a, uh, it was just like a sneaker site. It was just like a, sorry, I wasn't even in the camera. It was just like a sneaker site, and, uh, they didn't even have, they had sneakers, like a bunch of them, but they weren't really, like, like, up there now. Like, they even have their own logo now, you know? They weren't that, you know, emphasized on being a, a big site for, for selling sneakers, but now they are. So, it's pretty cool. Talking too much. All right. So. I'm from Rhode Island, so if you hear a lot of R's dropping in my accent, my accent's different, it's because I'm from Rhode Island. Oh man, you're looking nice. New England, dude. Patriots, I'm a Packers fan, but I like the Patriots too. Alright, man, here we go. They're looking good, man. I've always wanted these, ever since i seen them in like 7th, 8th grade. I remember some kid wearing them. I was like, oh man. Oh man. These. Some people think the air, the air right here. Some people think it's like childish, I guess, because it says air. I mean, I like it. I think it's awesome. Pippen wore it, so I like these. Scotty Pippen wore it, so whatever. I like these, and I really do like these a lot, actually. I like the air, the black, the white. It's suede, by the way. It's a suede, like, you know, suede mesh, whatever. Uh, suede overall on the shoe, it's all suede. We have little elastic bands over here to, like, hold the shoe, elastic bands. Um... We have a Nike uh, swoosh over here, you know, just knitted, just knitted, so it's pretty cool, I guess. Um, yeah, so if you see, the whole shoe is predominantly made of black suede, it's pretty awesome. And inside over here, we actually have a white and black, white accent to this, inside tongue. <laughs> uh, the laces are like a uh, thick, rounded lace, you know, like on the 11s, uh, it's like that, so I like those, those are awesome. Then it has the little thick round lace right here on the top right here. Pretty cool. Right here. Then we have the Nike right there. Uh, I really like the shoe because overall, the shoe is pretty beautiful as you can see. It's, this thing's beautiful, man. The shoe is a beautiful shoe. Oh, they even have a Nike sign right there. See, this is the first time I ever got these, but... See, I wanted these when I was younger, so it explains why I was just doing that and you know so whatever so there it is the Nike sign the big Nike sign I like that I just like sneakers that look classic and retro and like not retro but authentic actually like you know old school Nike stuff you know um I just like it oh well, it's not old school anymore it's actually new school but you get the lingo I just like that Nike sign right there I mean it kinda does look a little off though because the swoosh over here is actually, like, there's more of the swoosh on this side, on the uh, right side of the shoe. But on the left side, you just have, obviously, it's just, the, you know, the swoosh right here. But, you know, anyways, I just think it looks a little off right there, if you understand. Actually, there's, well, there's, like, a black, looks like, looks like a little, if you see it, it's like, it's like a little piece over here that actually looks like, it was just, like, I don't know how to explain it, guys, I'm sorry. It just looks like it's just hanging out, like it should have been stitched. 
I don't like that. What the heck? <laughs> Looks like it should have been stitched in, like, over here. Like, right here, it's stitched in. Right there, it's stitched in, but see how it just comes out? It seems like they just didn't finish their job or some shit. Whatever, man. I like this, though. I mean, I, th I really think this white over here should have been stitched in. Like, you know? Like, stitched in. Whatever. Like, see? How it's, like, come off. See that? Comes off. But, yeah. Other than that, the shoe is awesome. Uh, we have the little airbag over here. If you want a brief little history on airbags, if for all my real sneakerheads out there, or educated ones, I'm just playing, we're all educated. Uh, like, the airbag actually came from Tinker Hatfield. Uh, Tinker Hatfield is my favorite sneaker designer overall because he basically designed every Jordan sneaker that I like. And he's just a beast, and I love him. Like, I don't love him, but I love his, you know, th his outlook on design and his opinions and the way he just gets inspired by things. And this airbag, he actually got inspired by the, for the airbag because, see how you could see it? Back in the day, well, you know, back in the day. Back in the day, the airbag, it was like, it was like illegal. It was like something big and bad to not, like, they did not want to see the airbag. And Tinker Hatfield went to Paris, and he went to... I forgot what part of Paris, but he went there and he actually got inspired by a place called, what was the place called, uh, the center of, I don't know, I f oh, Pompidou Center, the Pompidou Center, I think that's what it's called, uh, and the the architecture there, actually like, like if you see in here, let me give you a little, uh, so you could see the piping, well, it, you know, that's, that's in homes and buildings, and you see that in homes and buildings, it's piping and plumbing. And I guess the Pompidou Center, like, the idea of it was to show all of the architecture. Like, it didn't have walls to cover the plumbing. It didn't have walls to cover the heating, the air conditioning, like, all of that. And it just showed, it exposed all of the, you know, the work. All of the plumbing inside and all the stuff that really makes the shoe what it, I mean, the building what it is and really, like, you know. And what they wanted to do with the, sh the air pump was, Tinker Hatfield said, hey, why not just show it? And, you know, see how that goes. And guess what? He put it on the Air Max. I think it was the Air Max 1, actually. Yeah. And I think so. I don't know, people. Don't quote me on this. But the Air Max 1, and it was a hit. And people loved it. And it was a, it was a classic red in color, actually. Nice Kicks had, had it. So I guess the guy that runs nice, nice Kicks likes it. Sorry, guys. I stutter sometimes because that's just how I am. And I do smoke weed sometimes. So maybe that's why. Who knows? I'm just being honest with you guys so you guys don't think... You know, this is who I am, man. Anyways, uh, I like this little Nike symbol right here. It's awesome. See all the little details in the shoe. Let's see what's inside for real, for real quick, for real quick. Oh, it's just the regular Nike, you know, Europe and all that. Ooh, inside it's blue instead of. See the Nike? You can't even see it, man. See it? Actually, yeah, you could. See that right there? It's a glow. It looks like a glow in the dark Nike symbol, unless it's just a blue Nike symbol. Cause when you get in there, it's like darker and it looks like a glow in the dark. Who knows? But yeah, that's pretty much it, people. This shoe is beautiful overall. Yeah. All right, let me show you this one and this one. Oh, these are beautiful shoes, man. Beautiful. Look at that, man. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. These things are beautiful, man. Right now, I got my uh, Nike slippers on. You know, fresh. Uh, by the way, my name is Javon, uh, my YouTube is called Sneaker Enthusiast, The Sneaker Enthusiast, and I welcome you to my first sneaker video, and also, please subscribe, comment, and whatever friend, friend Alicia says at the end of his videos, because he knows a lot of stuff, see, I can't talk right sometimes, he knows a lot of stuff about sneakers and YouTube and all that, and I just started, I mean, I've had it for a while, it's been like, a site that I've always wanted to make because I never had a video. Now I have a video camera. And I didn't have money to buy sneakers that I liked. But now I have a job and I buy sneakers that I like. And I've been really busy lately with school and stuff. So uh, I'm in high school, by the way, 12th grade. How you doing? Going to college. Stuff to all my high schoolers in 10th grade. I mean, 10th grade, 12th grade. About to go to college. I'm here for you. You know, we're sneakerheads in pain because it's a recession, man. And we're young and it's hard to find jobs. And when you go to college, unless your parents buy you everything, uh, 
you wouldn't really have time to buy sneakers or anything. So I'm just thankful for making this video right now to show you one of my favorite sneakers ever. Nike Air More Up Tempo. Scotty Pippen wore these. Alright people, see you later. You know what it is. The sneaker enthusiast. Uh, hopefully I'll have another video. Bye. Peace. God bless.